a lot of times the voices in your head want to keep you comfortable. Have you noticed a lot of times it happens when you're stationary, when you are still? And a lot of times these thoughts are not final thoughts, but we put a finality on it because it crossed our mind. Rather than let, letting these thoughts pass you, observe them, we tend to stay with them and we start believing them. And so that's where I think the mistake lies is that you cannot believe every single thought. What you need to do is from a stationary position, start doing what I'm doing now. So what am I doing right now? What am I doing right now? I am walking. I'm taking my evening walk. That's what I'm doing. A bulk of my, a bulk of my steps are, to be, are, are in, the pro, in, in the motion right now, being taken right now, a bulk of my steps. And with that, I am also wiping out all the negativity, the negative thoughts of the day, the compounding thoughts of the day, because I know deep down inside that if I don't make this a habit, that if I don't walk these negative thoughts out, these limiting beliefs, right? I'm going to bed with them. And so you ask yourself, is that, you know, do, is that how you want to end up in, and end your night off? I think existing as it is in today's day and age and society, a lot of challenging times, right? A lot of things out there that the news, the developments as of lately can challenge your mental health. You can easily get absorbed and caught up with the he said, she said, the left and the right, the right and the left. Uh, and so what I, what I do is you have to find a period in the day, or periods in the day, where you can detox, step away from all of this, and just be rational. Be, you know, meditate. Meditate. There, there we go. Use these walks as therapy, as I talk about in my other videos, is use these sessions for your self-healing no news no social media nothing use this use these walks to you know rebuild your spirit reset your mind you know reframe your thoughts this is what walking does with the power of intermittent fasting right uh when you think about it it may seem a little overwhelming like oh my god you have to drink water Oh, you have to sleep so much. Not so much. You have to sleep strategically. Seven to eight hours, I say. Um, you have to eat a lot of protein or moderate protein. Build around protein. You know, this is, these are habits, folks. These are not difficult decisions. You know, in perspective, and I say this in my initial videos and earlier videos, let's just say you went to the doctors, right? And the doctors, the doctor takes a physical blood work. And one of those years, as you get older, or younger even, you get a reading that's not in, fa in your favor. And you, let's just say it's, it's semi-terminal. I'm trying to jinx anyone, but it's semi-bad news, right? I'm, seeing, I, I'm actually seeing a lot of these in, in my age grouping and even younger. And then, naturally, your question is, well, what are my options? How much time do I have? How can we reverse this? How can we fix this? How can we cure this? A lot of doctors today won't tell you what I'm about to tell you. Long before you even get to that diagnosis, a lot of this can be prevented by simply taking these steps, making your daily goals and your habits, your exercise routines, a daily ritual, basically a staple of your lifestyle. Being consistent, being showing up consistently for yourself. And if, you, if you're not doing so, one, you're not going to, you, you, you ain't helping yourself. But two, how are you going to help your loved ones? How are you going to show up for other people when they count on you, right? Are you, are you optimizing your body? Are you optimizing your mind? Have you tapped into your higher self? You know, the journey of self-improvement and bettering yourself right that is the goal i think ultimately that is the goal and then how you improve other people's lives and so the voices in your head you have to fight every day it's not going to go away folks naturally that the, the the voices want to keep you in your comfort zone anytime your mind ventures off into the possibilities that's outside of your comfort zone and where you have to push yourself a little bit naturally your mind and your body your spirit will all kind of come together 
and deter you from that and trying to keep you safe. See, it's up to you. It's your responsibility to push past all those voices. So keep rolling through the voices in your head and making sound decisions. I honestly think that walking has helped me make some of the best sound decisions, life-changing decisions while walking, during my walks. And I have even made a habit of writing my thoughts down. When I left the home, when I left my place, and when I'm returning home, my mindset is enhanced, but also my digestion is, is, has improved. And also it's ready to digest the next meal. So you, there's many benefits of just, you know, doing what I'm doing right now, just existing, but staying in motion. Think about your joints, your whole body, your biology. If you don't use it, if you don't mobilize and, and use it, you're going to lose it eventually. So I'm very thankful to be here at this stage of my life, you know, being able to move and compete like I'm 25 years old. So I consider myself to be a, a genuinely a, you know, a healthy athlete kind of a figure. And I'm pretty mobile if you've seen my videos. So with the martial arts background, the dance background, and I have acquired a gift of, you know, of, of these art forms of these art forms that now I can speak to and give back. But the thing is that you gotta be putting in work in your craft. These voices cannot hold you hostage. It's either the doctor gives it that gives you diagnose the doctor let's just say gives you the diagnosis that hey, in order for you to live out the rest of your life, you need to walk ten thousand steps every day, you need to drink a liter of water every day, you need to sleep seven hours a day. And you have to drop sugar. The only sugar you can access is through fruits. And even that is, is the minimum. Like you can only dabble so much. You tell me to say, are you, you're telling me that you wouldn't roll the dice on that? I would. I mean, heck, it's a chance. I got an ultimatum. But I've got a clean sheet to reverse whatever I'm about to go through and change it through the power of diet and just having good habits. And see, what happens is a lot of us wait till it's too late and we've already we've already settled down in our mind we've already married those negative thoughts and we've already signed off on the bill but see that bill also can be reimbursed it's it's, it's not a recording bill and that bill can change and you you right now have control of that you have control of that that's what i'm trying to tell you is that at older at an older age I, I am just, there's so much joy in what I can do. My athletic capabilities, all of this, none of this, obviously it's from the higher power up above. I'm not elusive to that, but folks, it's, it's my habits. Really, I, I am married to my habits. I'm in love with discipline because it's the, it's the price I pay, I choose to pay to put in the work now, it's sacrifices. Because you don't want to live in the pain of regrets, right? That can really come to haunt you. So whenever you get those dark thoughts, negative thoughts, also known as anxiety, um, you know, overwhelming, paralyzing thoughts, just remember th those thoughts are temporary and it's very normal. All that means is that you are trying to do something that's way outside of your comfort zone, but it's calling you to change. There's something there. You got to explore that. It's, it's like taking plunge into cold water, right? We don't like to do it. We don't look forward to doing it. But once you take that cold plunge, something happens to you. You change. And you you want to do it more. And you, you think the cold water. And you think all these energy comes out, right? Like this elation, like you did something. So think think like that. Think of, think of it as what it would feel like if you conquer a goal. You reach the other side. Do not fear the work. Do not fear the process. In that process is where you build character. In that process is where you find yourself. And in that process is where you leave those negative self-talks, limiting beliefs in the dust. You learn from your prior self. You learn from those psychological mind tricks that your brain always plays with you. Just remember, folks, this is very normal to be overcome with, uh, with these you know, crazy thoughts. You just got to roll through them with them 
let it bark, let it talk. But what you cannot do is be stationary, which is why I always preach to walk in 10,000 steps, do the fasting, but fasting from people as well. Cut out who you don't need anymore. Some of you probably have overstayers in your life and parasites, including family. Cut them out. They're always, they will always be there. They'll always have something to say, but you can only save you. Ain't no one coming to save you. On to the next one. Mamba out.